This is a basic overview of the differences between the general kinds of sketches that can be used to generate 3D features. We will assume that the sketches need to be a continuous loop, need to be closed, and may contain multiple sets of sketch figures. Following are three examples of closed sketches. The first two are shown below. They are continuous and they do not intersect any other figures. Notice the figure below, left, has a circle within the main body of the sketch. When this figure is extruded, the hole will be left empty. This is because the circle represents a face and when extruded, since it is located within a sketch, that material will not be generated. The resultant parts are shown below. When the third sketch is revolved, this is the resultant part. Following are four examples of non-closed figures. These sketches, first one shown below, have numerous errors. Each error is shown with an arrow. The figure below is not closed. It will not work because it is not continuous. If this sketch is used to generate a feature, you will receive an error message. It fails because there would be a missing face, and a libre does not know how to close the sketch. There should be a line, arc, or other figure closing the sketch. This figure will also not generate because of the extra semicircle. Since all figures represent faces when used in the creation of features, this extra arc is not needed and should be removed. Remember, sketch features are infinitely thin and represent faces. The easiest way to think of this is to imagine that you are physically holding the part in your hands. You would only be able to see the outline of actual parts. The top semicircle would not be a face in the real world, so it needs to be removed from the sketch. Of course, you could have deleted the lower semicircle, and that would leave you with a valid sketch as well. If that sketch was extruded, you would have half of a circle at the bottom of the part. Remove one of the arcs and leave the other. This figure will be used for a revolved feature. Since the sketch features represent faces, all of the vertical lines are not needed because they are edges of the part. The figure below will be used as an extrusion and will fail because of the two extra lines. Remember, sketch features represent faces and are infinitely thin. In this tutorial, you'll learn that sketches that are going to be used in the creation of features need to follow three rules. Sketches need to be a continuous loop, be considered closed, but may contain multiple sets of sketch figures.